what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a reaction to a featurette for Terminator Dark Fate. Now this is actually revealed at the uh, San Diego Comic Con. And of course you know this is a direct sequel to Terminator, well the Terminator from 1984 and Terminator 2 Judgment Day from 1991. So it makes it seem like Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation and Terminator Genesis don't even exist at all, just only the first two films, which a lot of franchises have been doing lately, you know, they make it seem like the third one or the fourth one, which are even the second one, like the Halloween films, you know, like Halloween 2 from 1981 didn't exist with this recent Halloween film, you know, so I'm kind of cool with it, because now they are making these kind of films where they actually give you like a choice of which <laughs> direction you want to go, you know, like it's like a choose your way, like, like film, you know, series, you know. You can choose to go this way or you can choose to go. So I think that's kind of okay, you know. I'm okay with that, you know. And another big part about this film is that James Cameron has returned to produce it, you know. Now, you also have Tim Miller directing the film, and he's also the director of Deadpool. You have Linda Hamilton, who returns to the role of Sarah Connor, and Arnold Schwarzenegger returns to the role of T-800, you know. And it's actually been confirmed that he is actually a machine in this film, too. And I think from what I'm hearing, he was actually around... And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that he's actually from like the first film too, and he was actually just in high. And I actually said that too, you know, that I was kind of had a suspicion, but I was, I was betting that it was actually during like the events of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you know. It probably was the second T-800 something back that was actually in high, you know. So yeah, um, another thing that has been confirmed with this film, that Edward Furlong, he's actually returning to the role of John Connor too, so I think that's awesome. That he's going to be returning to play that role too, and from what I'm hearing, it's still going to be actually. Uh, <clears throat> I think they actually going to still apply like CGI to him, but he's actually returning to that role because James Cameron actually confirmed it at the uh, San Diego Comic Con. But anyway, here's my reaction to this recent feature for Terminator Dark Fate. Last night, I was standing there looking at a monitor. On one camera was Linda Hamilton, and on another camera was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought, holy fuck, I'm making a Terminator movie. Okay, hey, let's recapture that tone. It's R-rated, it's grim, it's gritty, it's fast, it's intense. Work hard and play hard, and this is what this movie was all about. Tim has this fresh vision, and like what he did in Deadpool, his action is huge. It's just a fast white knuckle ride. You better watch your ass. I hunt Terminators. You metal motherfucker. It follows tonally in the footsteps of T1 and T2. That adrenaline rush feeling, that sense of terror. In this film, the action is ten times bigger. It's like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. This film is relentless. It just does not stop. It's just fucking insane. Okay, that was my reaction to the feature for Terminator Dark Fate. Now, this is scheduled to be released on November 1st of this year, 2019. Now, this is easily one of my most anticipated films of the year, mostly because James Cameron is back on board, even though as a producer and a director. Then you have Arnold Schwarzenegger back as the T-800, then the Hamilton back as Sarah Connor. And now, recently, it has been confirmed from James Cameron himself that Edward Furlong is actually returning to the role of John Connor, so I think that's cool. So it'd be awesome if they can get Robert Patrick back in in some kind of manner, you know, as a T-1000 to a certain extent, you know. I know they have Gabriel Luna as like the, uh, the new, um, I think the thing known as the Rev-9, which is like a combination of the T-800 endoskeleton and the T-1000, you know. They can actually can separate, you know. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually can do something like that with Robert Patrick, you know. Come here, if this movie is a success, James Cameron actually has plans to make this into a new trilogy. So there should be two more films in this if this is actually a success, you know. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. And I know like a lot of fans and like uh, so-called general public have been complaining that they didn't like how the film looked. They don't like how it's going, you know, and so on. But you know, who knows, you know. I thought I actually looked okay. Now, if anything, I noticed that the visual effects didn't look too good for my opinion, you know, but I thought the film itself does still look, look pretty good, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it, you know. 
And it, again, you also can see that Arnold Schwarzenegger really is a T-800 too after that has been confirmed too that he is a machine and not like a human something that's kind of cool that that's been confirmed too as well. So yeah, that's my reaction to this feature for Terminator Dark Fate and this was actually shown at San Diego Comic Con. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. <laughs>